Hi everyone, welcome to the Buffalo Naval Park's YouTube channel. And I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And for today's video, it's kind of going to be a reference to a video we recently did about uh, high winds versus U.S. naval ships. So if you haven't watched that video, we do a time-lapse video. But a lot of people who came down here, and yes, some people came down here in the high winds, Notice that when the stern of the USS the Sullivans would come out of the water, uh, that then all of a sudden all this water started gushing out from this whole series of uh, holes along uh, the very stern of the ship. Uh, and that's what we call the transom. It's right there at the curve, forming, say, the C of the back of the hull. And, you know, there's a lot of holes there. There's 10, 15 holes, and so when the water would, when the stern would rise out of the water, all of the water would come rushing out. Now, the thing that we, you, we the thing that we say is that the USS the Sullivan's propellers uh, were cut off in about 2002, 2003, to move the ships to their current, uh, uh, their current berthing. So we were just a little bit farther down along what's now uh, known as like Buffalo's Canal Side area, and they wanted to repurpose that area for what it's used today for. So they moved us up uh, or down the Buffalo River, more closer to uh, Lake Erie, and uh, to uh, secure the ships in their current state they are now, they cut the propellers off. We still have them, so that's all right. We're actually working with the local company, Niagara Coatings, to get them uh, polished up again, and we plan on putting them on display in some time over the next uh, year or two. So what we did was we created some ballast there by drilling, intentionally drilling some holes along the stern of the ship to fill those spaces and that transom up with water to keep her, uh, to keep her stern down, so to speak, when things like this happen. So it was a ballast. All right, so we have a really cool map here. It's a liquid loading and flooding effect map for the USS the Sullivans, and I'm going to zoom in to where we are going. All right, and so that will give you an idea of where the water is, and um, so you'll be able to picture it. So with the Here's a nice profile, inboard profile. Again, liquid loading. So this is where liquid should go, where liquid shouldn't, should not go, uh, and what happens if there is flooding uh, to the ship itself. So what we're looking at here is, as I said, this is the inboard profile for those uh, tanks and holds. And, uh, you know, we got the fire rooms and the engine rooms. But now we're looking top down, kind of a bird's eye view. First platform, and then also the second platform. And we are going to be going right to here. So this area contains the after steering. All right, right in the middle where you can control the rudder. Uh, and then we have a ship fitter space and a repair shop. And so what these areas have, this area is on the tour route, all right, so that's not flooded. But we have hatches in these three spaces. And when we open the hatches, we now come down to the second platform, and boom, this whole area is filled with water. My concern is that if we di we've done that about almost 20 years ago, what does the integrity of these bulkheads look like now? All right, it would be extremely bad for the ship if the water that's contained in here rusts out these bulkheads, and then boom, all of a sudden we've got flooding going through all these compartments on the second platform. So I, for today's video, I want to get here, open these hatches, and look down into this space right here. 
All right, so we're going to do that, and let's head over to the USS The Sullivans right now. All right, everyone, so we are now standing in the transom area of The Sullivans, and as I showed you on the uh, liquid loading flooding effect uh, plan that you'll saw, see on the first platform, there's three compartments. We are standing in the ship fitter compartment right now, and I am with Andrew Biondo, uh, the second yes. caretaker of USS The Sullivans, uh, tomato pie, as maybe you've heard in other videos. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay. Yeah. It's a play in Italian <laughs> words. So. And here we got Skinny again, all right? So you've met him before. He's doing a lot of great work. He just started here at the Buffalo Naval Park a few weeks ago. And Which he's is awesome, by the way. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. What are you working on right now, by the way? Oh, I'm doing the floors, getting the birthing areas ready. Uh, oh, well, deck. Look at you. that. That's how you know I'm still working. I'm there you go. a floor instead of a deck. Yeah, he's working on the decks. And I hear him. He's doing great work. And when you walk outside on the promenade, you can hear him tapping away. As, as you know, even though it's about 15 feet, you can see him scraping up the deck. And some of those older tiles that have uh, need to be replaced. So, again, we're on, we're, while we're on uh, starboard side, in one of those three compartments that you saw on that overhead profile, uh, again, ship fitters, we got the armory, then we'll head into the uh, aft steering. Uh, no, well, aft, I'll... Sh aft steering, after steering, you can say it Yeah, way. but we don't have a hatch there. We've got the sounding tube. But, right. So we'll point that out, and then we'll head over uh, to the ship, uh, one of the ship repair shops and um, uh, parts, uh, shops and uh, we'll show you the hatch there too. So Andrew why don't you lead the way at least with here and we'll see, look at the first of those three hatches. Okay, stepping back, stepping through the ship fitter shop and come out. Directly in, fr directly in front of the armory right here. We have this hatch on the deck. Open it up. And this is transom on the starboard side of the ship. Yeah. Only part, just part of it. And you can see all the different baffles on here and angle irons. And this water here is actually purposed for being in here, being that the ship, being that the propellers were cut off the shafts. And the sole purpose of the water being in here is to keep the aft end of the ship down so she's not riding too high up in the air. That's right. Yes. And you can actually see there's actually a lot of movement going on. Uh, right now in this water, this, um, you know, in this ballast water, uh, and that means we're really, we're still moving back and forth pretty well. Uh, <laughs> yes, we're rocking. All right, so here we go. I'm going to see if we can see down here, if, if anything. So, Andrew, uh, you know, looking down here now, I don't see any uh, ladders or anything, so what do you think people did when they had to get down here? They basically climbed in and out of here utilizing the baffles and the angle irons just to move around. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And the transom does not go all the way through the ship. It is actually sectioned off like the, the rest of the compartments. Yeah, they're pretty... Uh... They're pretty compartmentalized, for lack of a better word. So it goes from the most stern to the bulkhead of second division. Yeah, which is the birthing just forward of here right now. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right, so that area would be under aft steering. I can't reach down much farther, but so that's heading towards the center line of the ship, and then we'll be heading over there. So one of, uh, one of our concerns here is that when, since this was intentionally uh, flooded, that you, know, you worry about the integrity of the steel uh, just over time. It's been about, 50, about 18 years, 20 years, since they probably took the props off. And, uh, so it's good to just uh, kind of inspect this every so often, just to make sure that we're not getting any flooding, which would then lead forward of, would lead forward uh, under second division birthing and 
forward. So, uh, thank you, Andrew. Okay, let's uh, let's head to the port side now, if that's all right. And although we do yeah. have the water in there, and we do check it out every now and then, the only thing that's actually saving the ship is that we're actually in fresh water compared to if we were in the salt water, it would be eating away a lot more, even though the hulls are just about paper thin. You know, being in the fresh water is actually helping to ship out. Right, because these would not have been exposed to this much water. So, and fresh water, right, so all these lightning holes, the baffles, mm -hmm. that steel is still pretty good is what you're saying. Yes. And it's still almost in its original state. That's affirmative. Right, okay. Now we move forward. Actually heading through the very last berthing of the ship, which is second division. Right here is about the center line of the ship. Yep. And directly in front of me here is after steering. And so directly below me is still another part is still another section of the transom, which are separated by all the baffles down below. Mm -hmm. And then I can actually do a sounding you know, with a with a special tape measure to, you know, to check that if I don't lift up any of the hatches. The sounding tube right here is where I can actually get the readings from. Now you do soundings, that's one of your jobs here, at the, is not only just caretaker of the Sullivans, but you do the soundings for all three ships, or at for least... For both the Rock and for the Sullivans. Yes, okay. And so you do that four times, how many times a year, yep. do you think? I tend to do a, tr a trend analysis. You want to do it usually every three months. This way you build a trend analysis so you can see what's actually going on with the ships. Yes, a trend analysis. I like that term. So that means you're building the timeline. You're building a yes. trend of when they're, if they're getting filled with water, when, and if they're vacating, when they're, vac you know. And, and directly behind us right there, that bulkhead is not the very back of the ship. Okay, there actually is a passage right there that when we were inside the ship fitter shop, there used to be an opening on that side, and you used to be able to walk between both compartments and you're actually walking direct, directly on the other side of after steering here mm -hmm. this way not to disturb it yeah. you know when you got when the other guys are working in here okay, good so now we're going over to the port side of the ship this here is the electro you know electronics room and you know ordnance repair parts and stowage okay and now here is the other hatch right here Look at that, it says chemical warfare, warfare material, material. Yep. And so we're going to open this one as well. And here we go. And just as you've seen over on the starboard side, basically a carbon copy of it. Same thing with all the baffles and the water level around the same. Yep. Yeah, all right, let's get that. And same there. principle getting in and out of this one just as like the starboard side. some point during the season. That sounds a lot fun. <laughs> All right, so again just trying to get some stuff on film that we can't as of right now normally see, but you see the flow of that water. Jeez. So yeah, each of these spaces are pretty compartmentalized. Right, I'm looking forward and I'm looking aft. There's not much, there's not much room there. There we go, did it again. Sorry, zoomed in unintentionally. All right, but this will be good as we do a survey here. Oh. Okay. And we have one more, right? Yes. Okay. Directly, directly in the back. Skew the oldness look of this little girl here, but, <laughs> but she is. And this right here is actually the uh, the ordnance repair parts and stowage right here. 
that bulkhead that I showed you and after steering, that's this one right here. So that's why I was saying you, you used to be able to walk right straight through. And there is the yep. sealed opening from over in the ship fitter side. Yeah. So at some point they sealed that off before our time here. Yes. Right. And now here is that other hatch right here. And as you can see, yeah. the same as all the same as the other two. And this is the most most apt end of the ship, right? Now. Yes. That's awesome. Th those yeah. are uh, what we call um, you know, compartment checkoff lists, CCOLs. They actually list different different things. Yeah. Valves, door, hatches, and everything. So, yeah, so it lists where these spaces lead to, you know, the compartments around it, what things need to be done. What material, what material conditions that these would be under, like, you know, this one's covered. You know, this, one, you know, this here would be for so, this hatcher. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Whew. So here, that is the very stern of the of the ship right there. And I am in such an awkward position here. I can't do very much. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yeah, and that's how I described the video is because people were seeing all of those intentional holes with all the water coming out. Wow. Give me a hand, Thank you. Oh. Whew, old bones. Uh, all right. But this will give us a nice clear view uh, more so than normal. Got it? Okay. A nice clear view of. Um, you, you know, maybe we're getting, we're looking at the lightning holes and the baffles and seeing what the integrity looks like. Uh, and as, as Andrew was saying, yeah, fresh water is much better than salt water. If we had salt water roaming around there for 20 years, uh, that might not be so good. But uh, because they weren't exposed during her time in service uh, the way the hull would have been, there is just much less degradation there. So... Uh, but it's something we keep our eye on, and we'll continue to keep our eye on moving forward. Again, I would hate to have these, uh, the forward uh, bulkheads, you know, under second division berthing there, uh, just kind of begin to deteriorate, and now all of a sudden, this water that you're seeing is now leaking and coming forward through all the, the compartments on the second platform. Which is now newly purposed for keep, keeping the weight down, because they originally were storage compartments very true all right everyone hope you enjoyed this video uh if you if you look in the right hand corner of the screen uh you'll see other suggested videos or if you're on your mobile phone you look down and you'll see some su suggested videos uh click the subscribe button ring the bell for notifications and uh we hope to see you again soon and as always thanks for watching andrew Thank you, everybody, for watching as well. And um, I'm very proud to be the caretaker of the USS The Sullivans and uh, for many years to come. So um, thank you again, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you. Dave, skinny. Guys. All right. Looking forward to seeing you. <laughs> All right. Now if I can get out of this awkward position that I'm in. Take care, everybody.